Hey everyone, my name is Grace Wells and welcome to today's episode of Making Epic Commercials for Random Objects, a series in which we make epic commercials for random objects because I'm really good at coming up with highly original titles. So as usual this week, you guys chose what object you wanted to see in this commercial and there were two options on the Instagram poll. There was a stuffed animal, like a teddy bear I guess, and toilet paper and you guys chose toilet paper and let me tell you i am so happy that you did i was rooting for toilet paper and finally something i wanted won now there's a couple of reasons why i was so excited about toilet paper winning one is that it's kind of topical i mean toilet paper has been like a buzzword this summer never thought i would say that in my life but it's true um, so that's the first reason. The second reason is toilet paper is truly one of the most random objects that you guys could have chosen and there's not really a lot of commercials for it and when there is they usually are really dumb and cheesy and kind of weird. So I'm excited to do something cool and different and make an edgy cool, sophisticated toilet paper commercial. And then finally the third reason that I'm really excited is that I do not believe in fate but if ever the hands of the universe were working to make this series epic as possible, it would be this week because my flatmate's aunt actually sent us a shipment of the coolest toilet paper I've ever seen in my entire life. No, this is not sponsored. The coolest toilet paper I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay, this is heavy. Look at that toilet paper. Isn't that the prettiest toilet paper you've ever seen? We've got green stripes. We've got yellow polka dots. I mean, what more could you want in a roll of toilet paper? So yeah, let's just get right into this video because I am very excited to get started. Let's go. All right, so I'm all set up for my first shot of the day and this is gonna be one of the more complicated shots I do for the entire video. I honestly just wanna get it over with, which is why I'm doing it first. Um, and this shot was inspired by one of the shots in the Daniel Schiffer cereal commercial that I did a couple of months ago now. Crazy that it was that long ago. Um, but in that shot, basically the cereal box opened and the cereal flew out. And that's what I wanna do here as well. I wanna have the box of toilet roll opening and all the little fun colorful rolls flying out of it. Um, so like with that shot, this is gonna be three shots in one. It's gonna be a shot of the box opening, a shot of the rolls flying up into the air, and a shot of the plane backdrop. And then I'm gonna kind of compose it all together in After Effects to make it look like the box is opening and the toilet rolls are flying out and it's gonna look good. I've taped the empty toilet paper roll box to a light stand and I'm going to rotate it and then I'm going to attempt to open the front flap of the box without actually touching it. That way my hands won't be in the way when I mask it all out in post. I'm not quite sure how many of these I can do. straight as possible and try not to, let's try not to lift the blanket too high. <laughs> One, two, three. So I've just had a look back at those clips and the blanket technique appears to be working. However, I did not like the brown backdrop because it was blending in too much with the brown cardboard box. So I've switched over to a white backdrop, which in itself is gonna present some issues because obviously toilet paper is also white. So I don't really know how that's gonna work out, but I just did not like the brown, so. One, two, three. So for my next shot, I'm gonna take this roll of toilet paper and the idea is to Hold it from the top by the paper and then let go of the roll and have the roll kind of spiral down. Um, in my head, it looks really good. I don't actually know how the toilet paper is going to move when I let it go. So this could not look as good as I think it's going to, but I'm just gonna try it and see what it looks like. And I'm gonna shoot in 120 frames per second because I'm thinking I might wanna slow it down and make it kind of slow motion in the final video. It keeps falling in a straight line and I really want it to spin, but I don't know how. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm now gonna start working on my end title sequence. And in this sequence, I wanna have a couple of the rolls of toilet paper spinning midair, like in the frame as the title is coming up. Um, so I'm gonna just take some shots now of the individual toilet rolls spinning. So the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm going to take each of the toilet rolls, each of the different colors and patterns that came in that box. I'm gonna hot glue them to my turntable. I'm gonna get shots of me spinning them and then hopefully we'll remove the turntable later so that it just looks like it's spinning on its own. So next I'm just gonna get a couple more shots of the cardboard box for the beginning of the video. Moving right along to our next shot, I'm gonna do a really similar thing to what I did last week in my air commercial, which was that transition from the noisemaker to the bottle of champagne where I went through the hole in the noisemaker. I'm gonna do a similar thing here just because I really love this transition. I think it's super cool. So I'm gonna do the same thing here with the toilet paper roll. If you don't know what I'm talking about, either watch last week's video or just hold tight and you'll see what I mean. So I've just set up my overhead rig for a couple of shots from above of the toilet paper unrolling. So next I wanna get a super close up shot of a sheet of toilet paper ripping down that kind of scored line in the center. Um, my idea for how I'm gonna do this is I'm thinking I get my camera slider, put it on the automatic setting, hit the button, and then while the slider is moving, I rip the toilet paper. I'm running into some issues with my focus. Obviously I'm only one person, so I can't rip the paper and control my focus at the same time. Um, and the autofocus is just not doing what it's supposed to do. So I think I'm gonna do the opposite. Rather than move the camera, I'm going to move the toilet paper while I rip it. That is finally a wrap on the toilet paper commercial. So I'm now gonna hand you off to future voiceover Grace for our editing. Hey, voiceover Grace here. I'm not gonna run you through the entire editing process just because this video took me hours, but here's the final title sequence. So I maxed out all of my toilet paper rolls that I had spun on the turntable to make it look like they were spinning on their own. I then adjusted the position, the size, the rotation to have them appear all over the page. And then finally, my last touch was to have it zoom out from the O. So first I zoomed in, I created some keyframes and then had it zoom back out again to introduce this frame, this shot. Um, and here's the final video. I hope you like it. Past Grace here again. Hope you enjoyed the toilet paper commercial. I haven't seen it, so I don't know if it's good, but if you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the subscribe button so that you can see all my future videos. Thanks so much again for watching. Keep on shooting, and I'll see you in the next one.